Alright, we'll get back into it. So, Lucario Joker, um, like I was saying, I haven't really seen too much of Joker yet. Um, I, haven't, uh, I guess I've seen him, but I haven't really played him much. So, I have minimal knowledge about what he actually does. All I know is that he's pretty quick, feels a lot like Sheik in the sense that he has like really soft aerials, so might see a lot of aerial training. I've seen the up air strings. Um, so I've seen a lot of the, some of his combos. I haven't really seen much of like what he does in terms of being kill setups and all that. So we'll see. I guess right now it'll be my first time seeing what this character does. So I uh, see a lot of so these aerials. They hit soft, but they do a lot of damage. I don't know if they have that much uh, knockback. Lucario though does more damage as his percent gets higher, so if he's able to survive in that 100-150 range, he's going to be doing so much damage with his, with his abilities, and his throws will be increasingly, increasingly strong. We see Joker in his persona form right now, with it out, he does extra damage, I believe. Gets a nice dash attack there, able to close that stock out 118 to 0%, though, it's going to be... It's going to stay pretty close. So nice up air coming out from the Joker, not able to land that though, gets a dash attack 52% to 118, gets a nice, I don't know, if that's a uh, command grab or something, nice counter there, gonna be able to get his thing up, but uh, Lucario punishes the end lag of that counter with an up smash, able to pick that kill up, looking to fade back with the neutral B, uh, air dodges, that's not what you want to see, so the... The drift back with the neutral B was right, but then he air dodged and uh, then he was able to recover with the up B. Just kind of free fell there. But uh, it's going to be down to Lucario now to bring it back. Kind of put into a bad situation. He's got to make sure that he doesn't take too much percent, got to space himself correctly, make sure to take this stock with probably under 80% if he really wants to take the bird stocks, realistically at least. Obviously, anything could happen, but... Lucario also stronger with more percent, so even though he takes... Even if he takes a lot of percent here, he'll be kind of okay in the sense that he'll be able to make up for that damage with the, uh, the rage that he gets. So it might actually be fine for him to take percent, and Joker falls a little bit too low before getting the up the off, and he's gonna drop there too, so now it's up to Lucario. He's at right under 80%, like I said, so he might be able to actually take the get some nice up smash to start it off. 25% from one attack, pretty nuts. Another another solid 15% there. I'm oh, sorry, 20% uh, there. Up to 66% now. He's good luck to close this out. Lucario with the rage, if he gets to that 100%, he's wow, he gets the side beat. That's going to be the stock. That Rage is so strong. I was about from middle stage, and he got the uh, blood smash. That's gonna take the stock. Going up 1-0, Blue Jay up 1-0 right now. Let me see if these players decide to stay the same. Uh, Character's game, let me see if they decide to do any changes. Loading into the game. Well, I already loaded into this game. We're going quick into this match. Let's see the DDD come out for Blue Jay. Getting a lot of damage here early on. Gets the up B spike on the bottom of his butt. Able to take that stock with only 1% taken by him. He's getting these big hits right now. You see him get this stuck up this jab string. He's gonna look for the side B who gets countered though, so that's gonna be the persona coming out from Joker here. He's gonna spit him off the stage. There's a lot of extra damage with that persona now. But DDD is a very heavy character. You need to watch how he can break your shield really easily, along with being able to take stocks very quickly too. Kind of like a very similar to Ganondorf in the sense that he has this big sword, or in this case a hammer. And there's a launcher off the stage with these, gets the back air there. It's gonna be an offstage situation, goes out the side B, is able to get countered by the joke, the very smart use of his counter to make sure that he can recover there. We're gonna see again the up B landing. 
the bottom part of it, able to take that stock. It's, it's looking kind of grim for Trent. He's gonna have to pull something out here to be able to take this one. He's only get hit by the star part of the uh, up B that time. Able to avoid the hard hit of it. Ooh, gets his shield chunked a little bit by the forward smash of DDD. He's just making sure to throw out his uh, strong hits very smart. He's able to read that up B there. He's gonna have to close his stock out very soon if he's gonna want to take this game. 177 on a heavy. Not exactly what you want to see. Oh my gosh, DDD almost getting that fully charged forward smash. Or not fully charged, but uh, a charged forward smash might have been the kill. Gets the up smash though with the side B, it's gonna be 100% for the Joker. Gets the Nair off, but is able to get the counter on that. He's looking for the forward smash. Both of them able to uh, dodge them, and Trent's gonna be able to close out that stock right there with the forward smash here. So D okay, Joker doing some nice rolls here. He's gonna be looking to kind of gimp the DVD if he can. He's looking for these aerials off stage, but the down air coming out from Blue Jay, he's able to close that stock out. That's gonna be. He set 2-0 from Blue Jay playing very good out there. It, showing us the two characters that he plays now, uh, DDD and pulling out the Lucario. So we're going to 